person is super tiny and even if you put flashlight in their eyes, it's not going to dilate. That's very important, right? Number two is absolute unconsciousness. So the person is passed out. You can shout their name loudly. You can give them a hard sternal rock, right? Or pinch their ears or their traps. If they don't show any reactions or responses, that's a very bad sign. And the third one, obviously, is shallow breathing. It's like the person is gasping. They can't breathe very well, right? And their skin might get super pale. Their lips might get a little purple, right? At that point, you know they're definitely overdosing. So what you guys have to do, you're gonna have to use naloxone or Narcan. So you have to have the person flat on the ground, right? You're gonna have to push their head back because it opens the airways of the nose to the brain, right? You take it out of a pack, you put it in any of the nostrils, doesn't matter. And you shoot it up, right? Using the plunger. After you shoot it up, you have to wait with them two to three minutes. If you don't get any reaction, if they if they're not coming back, if you have another dose of this, do not hesitate. You can use it you can use another one until they come back. But you have to wait two to three minutes. There's no negative side effect or overdose from Narcan itself. So don't be afraid to use another one. But if they come back, your reaction might be a little harsh because they sober up instantly, so they're in a panic state, right? So they might push you or yell at you. So just for your safety and their safety, take a couple steps back. Let them know they're gonna be fine. And immediately look for a medic because if they don't get to a hospital, they could overdose again after like 30 to 60 minutes. Do you guys have any questions? Perfect. So I'm gonna give you guys all a card. This is your certification. You're gonna show this to Brian behind you and he's gonna give you guys a Narcan. And also if you guys come here a lot,